The plump jobs up for grabs in November, Texas Lieutenant Governor, one of the most powerful jobs in state politics. Today, both candidates peppered with questions about what they'd do if elected. KXAN's Kevin Schwaller at the Texas Tribune Festival, where Democratic State Senator Letitia Van de Pute and Republican State Senator Dan Patrick both spoke. This wasn't a debate like the event for governor on Friday. This was an interview with each candidate independently. Both responded to criticism, and it gave us a look at who could be representing you as lieutenant governor. For a guy who is allegedly missing in action, you're here in the flesh. State Senator Patrick responded to critics, saying he has an elusive approach to the campaign with one scheduled debate and since the runoff, limited press appearances. I think by last count, I've had over 1,300 plus meetings with individuals and groups around the state. State Senator Leticia Vandepute responded to what would happen if the tables were turned and she may be able to win the race with limited appearances. You'd do the same thing, wouldn't you? I would respect the voters. With both candidates present, but talking separately, they spoke about issues including immigration and border security, but also topics like education. Senator Patrick talked about what he calls school choice. He highlighted an idea to allow families first the option to go to any public school, then the opportunity to go to a charter school, and finally a family could apply for a scholarship from a business to go to a private school. Can you imagine agreeing to send your child to a school that the state says is a failure? You wouldn't put up with it. Senator Vandepute said she supports using money to help students pay for community college. She also talked about a plan to go from five end of course exams to one assessment. She said she would get what she calls high stakes testing off the backs of students. It's not meeting the needs of our accountability system. It's yeah. not meeting the needs of employers and it is destroying the love of learning. The two candidates are scheduled to debate on September 29th. We've heard from Senator Ted Cruz and also candidate for Governor Wendy Davis. Stay tuned tonight at 9 and 10 on KXAN News and tomorrow as we continue our coverage here at the Texas Tribune Festival. Reporting in Austin, Kevin Schwaller, KXAN News. You know, some call the Office of Lieutenant Governor the most powerful position in the Texas government. To give you a little perspective on it, their powers extend to both the executive and legislative branches. For example, when the governor leaves the state, the Constitution says they cannot technically be governor, meaning temporary power goes over to the lieutenant governor. More practically speaking, the lieutenant governor appoints all committee chair in the state senate and, most importantly, decides when the bills will go up for a vote.